but the superior subordinate one that you keep leaning back on is not really there. You are putting it there. You have a choice to be his friend. You have a choice to go on his stream. You have a choice to decide Stephen whether or not you be, benefit from his stream. Stephen is aware and he isn't abusive with that power. He doesn't sick his audience on you just because he gives his belief or his view on a situation that in many cases, other people tend to be the first ones to come public with last night. He is going to give his opinion and feedback and there is going to be a repercussion. You're on the internet. That's going to happen. People are going to talk about you. People are going to go on the subreddit and make posts about you. That is the nature of the internet. Free speech, baby, all the way. You have to decide whether or not you can deal with it, but you can't keep internalizing it and then coming out with these crazy public statements and not having something well thought out and that you can substantiate. Okay, great. I, I think that this is, again, I, I I really struggle. Yes. Okay. No, I know I know that this that this everyone wants to make this feedback about me. I get it. I I have already said that I shouldn't have said anything. I'm very impulsive. I maybe I don't interact with How the internet the way that I'm supposed to. How many times are you going to say that to. before Wait, you do something about it? I I will never f do anything about it. I won't. This is Wait, just what? who I am. Then why would no? No, I should, uh, no, no, on, no, no, no. You you can't be on. The, I'm on this personal growth journey and then throw that what out. What do you maybe mean? write yourself a little post-it note and stick you're it on saying, your laptop saying, or something like, so you can like, remember not like, to be a f idiot like, every day. You're like saying that empirical. I'm, you're there are empirical the things you can day. do to improve your impulse Holy control. Day. Are you kidding me? She just doesn't right. want to. I guess. You're saying okay. you're saying that I'm on this personal the personal journey arc. I've been I've been a streamer for three months. Give me a like. Let me. How you have to get into these situations before you realize maybe I need to step back and consider how I behave on stream and what I say publicly. Do you think I'm not doing that? Do you no. think that this is not me literally doing you, that? No. If you no. were doing that, you wouldn't be having the continual repetitive. It's every three days, Lav. It's every three days. You get on Destiny Wait. stream. You make but, comments, okay. you get your so ass you, pushed okay. in, so and then you come back three more days to- Accounts without accountability. Think about that. Accounts without accountability. YouTube, Twitch, Snapchat, Instagram. They want all these accounts, all these social media apps, but want no accountabilities for what they do. They want no consequences. They want no backlash when they do stuff like this. And I'm not saying that all of them do this, but people like this. I've never personally attacked. Girl, anyway. you called everyone name you after name have. yesterday, girl. You were going what? ham, girl. Yes, you speak Madame like Genevieve. Madam, I didn't you personally cut attack girl. You cut Yes, you did. Kelly Jean and Madame Genevieve. What did I say? You, you called them stupid. You called them <laughs> called them moronic, right? You called them lots of names. <laughs> okay, fine. You got me. <laughs> okay, but this is what I'm talking about, right? I'll say, this is what you're responsible for. And you'll go, no, I'm not. And then I'll be like, yes, you are. No, and you'll be like, no, <laughs> <I am. laughs> okay, you're right, I no, am. I this is the issue. You don't get to be, no, I'm f***ing not. And then also, teehee, ooh, woo, oopsies. It's, you don't well, you get both. You proved me wrong. Yeah, but then your, your response to that is How would you like me go, to respond? You'd be like, oh, f***. You're right. I have been kind of mean. That is a bit of a, like, Well, uh, I am uh, doing that in that my is own a behavior. way. Hold on. That is a behavior that flies in the face of my ethics. F***. Teehee, oops, I'm wrong is typically not a satisfactory answer for the people that you've hurt and upset and said nasty things to. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. And I'm gonna say this. When I did hear about this whole incident the first time, because I'm pretty sure around this time, everybody already talked about it, everybody already discussed, everybody already has their final opinions on it. When I heard about it just yesterday, or the day before actually recording for this video, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It made my balls itch. What did he say? <laughs> I know that I don't normally talk like that on the channel, but it it really it really made my eye twitch. I'm not even going I'm not even gonna hold you. So for those of you guys who don't know, 
all right real quick uh there is this twitch streamer that goes by the name of hassan i saw hassan's name saw a video regarding hassan and some other random chick that i do not know at all uh so i clicked on the video i said okay what's going on with hassan you know and then uh it came down to basically her and the her that i'm referring to is love loom or laugh loom whatever her freaking name is and uh came down to a whole bunch of i guess claims that turned out to be very very untrue which is an insane fucking take especially because i know who she's talking about and that person was 19 i'm not gonna say who it is yet i might but it is fucking insane that a person that when I was 24, 25, well, not 24, 25, that I met, 19. And just, it's not even the person herself. I talked to the actual person this morning. Like, what the f is this? Isn't this your, per is this person your friend? Like, what's going on? And she was like, that is fucking insane that she said this. I'm going to talk to her. She is, you know, I've known this person for a long time. She's known to sometimes come out like this and say crazy stuff and exaggerate. So sorry you have to go through that. It's like 19 and 25 is mad weird, dude. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't care if you think it's weird. Suck my dick. Notice how, because, because if she, if she had come out and said that, only fucking other dumbass weirdos like you would get upset at this, okay? It wasn't like a fan. There is no fucking, you know power dynamic at play if anything there was a power dynamic in the reverse direction okay so shut the up you don't know the details you're literally making up in your mind and looking at it in an uncharitable way destiny has said on stream that this Hassan room is bull there's no proof of anything and it's a track record of being a lying i'm guessing that this is the nuke that destiny told john zerka to ignore because it was shit. yep he just confirmed it like how crazy yeah she uh, has a history of serial reporting sexual harassment allegations how nuts that these people just like literally talk about sexual allegations. Like, it's like nukes. You know what I mean? Hey, that nuke is not good. This nuke is a good one. We well, can use it whenever you want. I think it sounds outrage against everything is really funny because he slept with my friend when she was like 17 and he was 24. Yeah, I'm not dropping it. Believe me or don't. She's never coming forward. So I'm not either. Then why would you? First of all, you just lied there. That first statement is a lie. Also, why did you say this? You can't do that. That is like not in the rules. Okay. You're just a bad person. And, uh, turns out that he wasn't the first person that, that, that she has done this to. And there seems to be a trend as well. It seems to come, always come down to Twitch streamers that have a lot of clout. Okay. I did watch an interview with her that she was in with, uh, I think his name was Chud Logic. I did see one of her interviews with him. And the one that I saw, I didn't think that it was, I, I don't know. I tried to find some reference in some way, shape, or form. But I've seen one of her other interviews. The one that you guys saw in the beginning of the video was not the interview that I actually seen. But prior to that, like, I watched like at least, I was surprised that I got at least 15 minutes through. I think it was an hour and 15 minutes long. I was surprised that I got through 15 minutes of the entire thing. Because it was just basically just her admitting that she was a clout chaser. Well, not admitting that she was a clout chaser, but we all we all know what kind of friend we have. And then they try to act like that they don't know what kind of person that they are. It's basically like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's clear as day what they are. But they try to justify it in some way, shape or form. Oh, it's not this, it's actually that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a lady of the night. I am an exotic dancer. Something like that. You know what I mean? I'm not coming out to anybody that's in the that, that's in a kind of profession, by the way. Please do not come at me in the comment section. I mean, you can if you want to. Am I going to care? Not really. But it, it just really, really ground in my gears, man. But I guess what I want to say is it really touched me in a way because it really reminded me of my own childhood. 
and I'm not really going to like go too deep into the story necessarily, but let's just say long story short, I was in a similar situation and the worst part about it was that I was only eight years old. Similar, not the same, but similar. Okay. Something along the lines of she's the adult, you're the kid. You have no say so, even though you're the oldest out of everyone else. You have no say so. We're just going to take her word for it because she's the adult. So, with that being said, hold this beating for like the third or fourth time in a row. That summed it up in hopefully 30 words or less, honestly. And I was going to finish up the editing for Resident Evil. Um for the Resident Evil DLC that I was playing, that I am still playing right now. But when I heard about the whole thing, man, like it just, it just brought back so many memories. It did. And, uh, I just felt like it was, it was only right or only necessary to even try to, I guess, bring some kind of awareness to these false claims. I don't even know if I can say the A word <laughs> for these false claims. Okay. And the worst part about it is she doesn't even like, how do you say? She knows there's an issue. She knows there's a problem, but won't even try to fix it. Just accepting it and saying like, oh yeah, this is who I am. This is what I guess I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I could easily say, hey, alcoholism is in the family, so of course I'm going to drink as well. And I'm not going to try to do anything to to contribute to the help that I need from the alcoholism. That's literally what that is. Am I saying that it's going to be easy to do? No, it's not. And trust me, I know that it's not easy to, easy to do at all. I'm speaking from experience. But but it really, really, it really, it really is like a big slap in the face to the women prior to the modern woman that we have today in this era. It really is a big slap in the face for those individuals that actually fought long and hard to actually finally get a woman's voice out there. And I'm not saying that I'm pro womanist. I'm just speaking from reality. Okay. It really is a big slap in the face for those women that actually have been in those situations, that actually have been graped, that actually have been touched inappropriately. It really is a big slap in the face to them to finally be able to be like, hey, we're women, we're the underdogs, we need a voice out there. And then they finally do it, and then stuff like this happens. You know what I'm saying? I mean, granted, stuff like this has been happening in the beginning of time. You know, I could go back to the to the Bible days if you really want me to, but that's probably going to make the video 10 times longer. <laughs> Trust me. Um, but yeah, uh, like. It really is a big slap in the face to women that work so hard to get to that level. It's like, hey, you finally gave us a voice. Well, uh, let's see just how much I can get over on society, on the government. This, that, and the third, right? Because, listen, also, think about this, right? Had she not... Or, sorry, so sorry. What if Hassan never really had any proof that those were absolutely false? What if she... What if he had, like, no proof at all and she would, like, took the whole thing to the grave? I think the main reason why nothing has really been, I guess... I guess brought up to like crazy legal, I guess, procedures or whatever is because she was caught in her own lies. Okay. Had she have not said anything and had there have been no proof, she would have took that whole thing to the grave. I guarantee that she would have took that whole entire thing to the grave just to get some attention, just to get some extra clout, just so that she can continue to look good and like I said, just garner up as much attention as she possibly can. 
we can clearly see that this woman is clearly out there for strictly just attention and it and it's absolutely disgusting it is especially if you are a man and especially if you are a man of color yes i said it especially if you are a man of color okay <laughs> but it it really is it really is disgusting how how that whole thing is and like I said, this isn't the first person that she did this to. This is just the first person that I am familiar with. That's it. She probably done it to multiple men's men. Okay. And there's a saying that some of you guys may or may not really be familiar with. Okay. One time is a mistake. Second time is a habit. Third time is a lifestyle. And who knows how many that she tried to do that off camera too this is just on camera and this is just the people that we know and that we recognize because they're at a certain caliber of their of their careers imagine anybody else that she done this to and i'm pretty sure she's not the only woman that does this either you can you you, you can truly bet on that she is not the only one that does this okay but you know, I'm not I'm not gonna try to make this whole thing too long. I've still got a whole ton of editing to do. I have a whole ton of stuff that I that I recorded. Still trying to get some content, still try to still trying to get some stuff out there. But I just felt like this really had to be made because like I said, they want accounts, but they have they want no accountability. They want to have a Twitch, but they don't want to deal with the repercussions of violating that stuff okay and i'm not saying that this person violated anything that's 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 twitch or whatever but basically i mean i'm i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you let's just admit i thought it was a very very clever name accounts without accountability i would have been okay if she just admitted that she was wrong i would have been totally fine with that But the fact that she goes a little bit further and someone says, hey, when is enough enough? And her response is. OK, great. I, I think that this is. Again, I, I, I really struggle. Yes. OK, no, I know. I know that this. That this everyone wants to make this feedback about me. I get it. I I have already said that I shouldn't have said anything. I'm very impulsive. I maybe I don't interact with How the internet the way that I'm supposed to. How many times are you going to say that before you do because something about it? I I will never f***ing do anything about it. I won't. This is Wait, just what? who I am. That that really really bothered me. Like it 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 really it it and and I rarely get upset. But that actually messed with me a little bit. Like, like how, how, how much of a child can you be? You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I'm going to stop ranting before I get like even more heated or whatever. But uh, I mean, you can like the video if you want if you truly enjoyed it but honestly i made this video because it just had to get out there you're really making all the other women that actually do go through hard times look bad and look unbelievable you know you you you're actually making making things a whole lot worse okay the whole gaslighting all the lying everything like that you're making women that actually are going through serious issues look very, very, very bad and not very, very trustworthy at all whatsoever. And especially with those crocodile tears. Laugh. Come on now, girl, that that was just absolutely trash. Those crocodile tears. And I really hate when people try to like talk while they're crying. It, it, it gets really, really annoying. I, I hate that. I hate that. This is not me trying to act like, act like Abba. I genuinely hate that. <laughs> okay. Like, I really do. Anyway, though, um, 
I'm just see y'all in the next video. I'm, I'm going to try to get this editing done. So until next time, deuces.